the Prince and Princess of Wales imposed a self-imposed ban on anything Meghan and Harry related amid the drama The Prince and Princess of Wales are reportedly enjoying some much-needed RR at Balmoral this summer. Avoiding all of the Montecito drama after a difficult start to the year, Meghan appears to have self-imposed a ban on all news related to Meghan and Harry, as the couple enjoy some well-deserved family time ahead of the new school term. She spent the summer at Balmoral with Prince William, preparing to fully resume her royal duties. Prince William makes first public appearance in nearly two months The Prince of Wales has withdrawn from public life over the summer holidays. Prince William returned to work today, making his first public appearance since the summer holidays, and he kicked off the new term by highlighting a cause close to his heart. The Prince of Wales visited the Saatchi Gallery in West London to view the exhibition Homelessness, Reframed, which kicked off his project and has been running since August 7. The exhibition aims to use the power of art to raise awareness of different types of homelessness, and features work by artists directly affected by homelessness. The idea came from a conversation William had with his team before launching Homewards a five-year initiative to combat homelessness. When William arrived at the gallery just before 2 p.m. today, his beard was spotted. He appeared in a video celebrating Britain's Olympians in August, but many assumed he would be beard-free when he resumed royal duties this month. The prince last made a public appearance on Sunday July 14, when he travelled to Germany with Prince George to watch England's European Championship final against Spain. The same day, Kate Middleton made a rare public appearance with Princess Charlotte to watch the Wimbledon men's final. In August, Prince William and Kate Middleton participated in a social media video congratulating British Olympians, and Prince William also posted a personal message on social media during his summer break. Girls typically step out of the spotlight in July and August but now have a packed schedule well into September and beyond. Prince William visits Wales next week, Camilla has made several public appearances this week, and the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh are in France for the Paralympics. The King, who is currently in Scotland, opened the Aberdeen Royal Horticultural Society's 200th Summer Flower Show last weekend. He and Camilla are preparing to visit Australia and Samoa in the fall. The king's schedule remains under review as he continues his cancer treatment, as does the Princess of Wales, who previously said she has good days and bad days. During Kate's appearances at Trooping the Colour and Wimbledon, it was revealed that her program would be put together based on her doctor's advice and how she feels. Her future dates have yet to be announced. Despite near-daily updates from insiders in Montecito and Buckingham Palace about the ongoing tensions between Prince Harry and the royal family, Kate is said to be completely avoiding these reports. According to Heat magazine, the relationship between the Sussexes and the royal family is worse than ever, and Kate said nothing and no one can stop me from spending one last special day with my family before the children return to school. Former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond told OK. The magazine noted that while the start of a new school year is always a stressful and emotional time for mothers, it inevitably comes with benefits, too, she said. But as the job progresses, there will come a time when she will no longer be able to ignore the rumors coming out of Montecito. Then she goes back to work and there is a growing fear that she will not be able to ignore the Sussexes forever, the source said. This comes as the Duchess prepares to resume her royal duties. It has been confirmed that the paperback edition of Prince Harry's book, Spare, will not include any new revelations about family secrets that some royal critics have deemed a kind of oil offer. Publisher Penguin Random House confirmed that the content of the book will remain unchanged from the January 2023 edition. But the timing of the paperback's release, which coincides with the King's attendance at the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Samoa next month, will inevitably reopen old wounds, royal watchers say.